Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today we will talk about the Black Moon Lilith, what it means in general, and also for each and every single sign. So stay tuned. Um, I don't want you to confuse this with the Asteroid Lilith, okay? Because the Asteroid Lilith is something else. The Black Moon Lilith is a, a geometrical point in the sky. It's the furthest point of the moon's er orbit around the Earth, okay? So this is a, a different, it's a, it's a different, it's like a, a dark void. <laughs> and this describes it very well, right? So this dark void is our dark sexual role side and we can think of it as you know it's very often related to the mythology of adam and eve but before eve there was uh, lilith and lilith was born or made out of the dust together with adam and then Lilith was a little bit rebellious because, you know, when there was uh, the moment of truth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lilith refused to be underneath. And um, yeah, this was a problem for God and Adam. So Lilith had to go and was forbidden to come back to the Garden of uh, Eden and then we had Eve born from the rib of Adam <laughs> So yeah, she's kind of you know, you really have to see this 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 uh, Person that has like female empowerment, right? This is what's happening right now in the world feminine empowerment and You know as before Lilith was kind of forbidden nowadays Lilith is kind of encouraged it's encouraging women to be equal to men it's encouraged to explore this raw energy within yourself right and then you might think like hmm i'm a man what does lilith mean to me right it's the same raw energy right we all have masculine side and a feminine side uh this has to do more with your um feminine sexual energy whereas masculine sexual energy is more uh based on primal needs <laughs> or it's more based on the masculine thought of intercourse well as the female side is more luring alluring <laughs> drawing people in right it's more like this is lilith lilith is drawing people in by accepting your own sexual empowerment so everybody has this in their chart you can you can check and calculate there's many places on google where you can check what that means for you right so um it's really the empowerment of accepting that we are sexual beings it's really about embracing uh, our sexual energy and I don't mean that in the actual act necessarily it's all about the fantasies it's all about um, it's about creativity as well because that's where this energy centers come from and it's also about manifestation because a lot of manifestations are done through sexuality right because <laughs> Everything that draws to you is feminine and everything chased is masculine, right? So this is how you get the right balance. Like masculine energy is going towards the goal. Feminine energy is luring in, right? So whereas Eve was more uh, submissive and more sweet and more caring and nurturing, uh, Lilith is more like alluring right um but also knows what she wants and sometimes dominates so this is the shadow side of uh lilith so what i've seen in charts is when people for example have this sun with lilith they have this uh sexual drawing in energy right they're very alluring um 
I, I often see it very close to the planet of Pluto. Like, Pluto is more underworld darkness anything. <laughs> and Lilith is more in a sexual way, right? And a sexual way means uh, also, like I said, manifestations. And you can also lead from your sexual centers, right? And a lot of times it is kind of like forbidden to think that way, that we're sexual beings and that we are here to um, explore, right? So this is the dark side, your fantasies, like everything that's hidden. But the thing is, in order to fully accept your light, in order to fully immerse with yourself and to get like this awakening to the light, you have to accept and and you know, integrate your dark side. So this means your Lilith, your Pluto, your taboos, the, everything unspoken of needs to be integrated in order to transform it to the highest level, right? So um, I'm always into accept your shadow side and that leads to the ultimate light. So let's start with all the planets, not the planets, the signs. I mean the signs, let's start with the signs. <laughs> and the houses so I'm just gonna relate the sign to the house right and you can check both your house sign and your sign where it is in right and then you can check what that means for you uh, I'm gonna tell you the bright side and the dark side okay so you can transform yourself from 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 darkness to the light because ultimately my channel is all about self-development okay and um, yeah, so we start with Aries. So if we think about Aries, we think about someone that's leading, right? First house, Aries, it's all about moving forward, leading, aggression, passion, and all these kind of things. So what would be Lilith's dark side? It would be dominating. There's my cat once again. If we talk about raw, wild, feminine energy, we can talk about my cat. <laughs> I found her in the mountains, literally, and up till today, she cannot be tamed. People think it's bad raising. It's actually, she just has this wild DNA. <laughs> that just, it's just impossible to tame. This is Lilith in the living, just saying. She's the best portrayal of Lilith. And uh, she listens to no one, does whatever she wants, owns the house. <laughs> But uh, yeah, can't act on her sexuality because that's been taken care of. Sorry, sorry, Pacha. Yeah, I'm sorry. So uh, <laughs> yeah, so if we look at the dark side of Aries, it's it's aggressive. It's it's almost towards masculinity, right? So it's very forwarding, very dominating, very I lead, you follow, no concessions made, right? So, how can we turn this into the light? We can transmit this to the light, like, I'm a powerful leader, I'm gonna listen to everyone, and I'm gonna empower everyone around me to race as well. And this is how you can integrate, you know, this, this, this part of your sexual drive to lead. So this is like the transformation, like, I'm a leader, but I'm also willing to to listen and not make it all about me. So like the dark side would be kind of like being a little bit self-centered, right? <laughs> but actually you could be the best leader if you just open up and listen to what people have to, to say. So that is Aries and the first house, okay? Then we go to Taurus. So if we think about Taurus, we think about sensuality, we think about softness, we think about food, self-indulgence, right? So the fantasies are about um, being sensual, uh, but it's also related to materialism, right? So it could be that your dark side is to use your sensuality to get what you want. <laughs> to get financial gains or you know even in your work you could be like you could use your beauty to get gains so 
the negative side as well could be that you're very possessive and you're not you get like this obsessive like you're seeing people as your material self okay so how can you integrate this to a higher level this is um being absolutely loyal so using your possessiveness as a let's be loyal using sensuality in the most beautiful form the highest form of love and also to um embrace like to dress nicely use food as a way of sensual empowerment right um so make your life sensual and act on it so not just think about it and you know just grab what you want as, a, as in a way of <laughs> not my way and uh, is the highest way i don't know like this expression exactly so um it's more about embracing the qualities of life by exploration fantasies beauty you know dress up the way you want to use like really nice you know use a lot of touch touching people those kind of things and this is your ultimate empowerment taurus so for all the liliths in taurus this is my message for you then we go to the third house it's ruled by gemini so black lily here you know when we think about gemini this is a very communicative sign so what would be the dark side it would be talking your manipulation in there to get what you want so that would be using uh, the right verbal sexual words to get what you want and also to be dominating in your conversations like i know best you all stop talking <laughs> because i'm a know-it-all i'm just gonna tell you what it is about so what can you do to change this into the best lilith version of you it's using your sexual centers to be very convincing and to be open to response right to be open to people's opinions about what you just said but you're gonna be so convincing that it's hard but it's not manipulation it's based on truth it's based on empowerment your words can empower okay so your sexual centers will make you empower other people and there's nothing more beautiful than that okay so this is for gemini third house then we have the fourth house ruled by cancer so if we think about cancer right what can we think of well water signs definitely have a manipulative uh, form so you would use your nurturing qualities to manipulate people <laughs> and to um keep people with you by always taking care of them but this can be at the cost of yourself so what you can do cancer is staying centered into your own sexual energy use this for creativity and use this for nurturing but not at the cost of yourself right so also this would be like doing anything to keep someone with you but actually when you're tuning to your own centers your sacral chakra you're gonna make people stay with you automatically because you allure this nurturing qualities naturally naturally you don't need to do anything right it's just accepting this part of yourself this integration and you will just automatically be this really powerful nurturing beautiful being that's taking care of the family that's you know pleasing the partner and it's gonna be it's gonna be something beautiful so this is for you uh lilith's in cancer lilith black moon <laughs> so let's move on to the fifth house it's ruled by leo and when we think of leo we think of a bit of drama we think of a bit of you know flair uh we think of beauty someone who wants to be seen and it's almost like um an overly attention getter right you need validation in order to feel whole so your secret is to charge the centers to use creativity as an activator of the sexual energy and you're gonna um you're gonna have 
so many talents actually coming to the outside and people will validate you automatically so it's not like i'll i'll build my talents on validation it's like no i'm inside out people validate me because i have so many talents and this is the key to to embrace this empowerment and you can be a very powerful leader with this type of of energy right so it's not just creativity it's also a, like a, a public speaker or someone that's very uh, endearing alluring but in a really beautiful way right people are like listening to you like that so <laughs> this is how you work uh, your best with um, Lilith in Leo and then we go to the sixth house Virgo right so this is someone who is extremely into perfection it's almost at the cost of your own self right it's like yeah i can only do this when this that 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 and that is done so you're depleting yourself of your own sexual centers this is what's happening so you're depleting yourself of anything because you need to do so many things before that you're suppressing all these feelings because you're into your head and not into your stomach so what you need to do is recharge your centers being of service but allowing yourself to enjoy allowing yourself to not be perfect and when you realize you're not perfect it's gonna be the biggest empowerment of all and you're gonna feel so much more in charge right and virgo is rule it's like a you know the virgin so it's also being in complete acceptance of yourself okay being in complete acceptance of your own sexuality okay so that is virgo i hope that was helpful uh, let's move on to the seventh house ruled by libra so when we think about libra it's you know libra needs to have balance so libra loves to be in a relationship and libra black moon lilith would do anything obsessions to get the partner they want i want this person and i will do anything to keep them i will do anything 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 right and then we have aries lilith who's like it's all about me <laughs> and libra is just you know and they might also be extremely into looks like looking very like maybe even plastic surgery to to be more outstanding right always thinking beauty is not good enough so when you feel beautiful inside you draw in the right people so you need to believe your beauty comes from the inside and not from other people and when you realize that that's your biggest black moon lilith empowerment right because black lilith is, is literally the black void so the things you're not really seeing that much but it's there and it's driving your centers so yeah that's for libra at seventh house uh, lilith and then we go to the eighth house ruled by scorpio right so if lilith would rule a sign i would definitely kind of put it with scorpio because <laughs> scorpio is the alluring dark secretive sign right and um it's ruled by Pluto and Pluto has similar qualities even though you know it's a planet it has similar qualities to to Lilith this is really what I've seen in, in reading the charts as well so what can you do is just allow yourself to dive into the depths without hurting other people okay so it's it's about not misleading people by manipulation to get what you want to get this you know the the attention that you want so it's by not being secretive not uh mani yeah it's mainly about manipulation right so the biggest transformation sexual transformation comes from rising out of the ashes so you would be a great empowerer in actually teaching people how to deal with their sexuality this would be the major light of Lilith in scorpio it's like having a circle of people talking about you know people who have been abused or something like this this is how you can definitely use it to the highest beneficial 
uh, place because very often these are people that have been in destructive sexual relationships themselves and they can teach it to other people highest form light okay so this is my message for um black moon lilith in scorpio also it could have related to funerals working in um how do you call it again oh my english is so yeah working for funeral stuff like that related to death or making people accept that in general so <laughs> that's your greatest power uh, lilith in scorpio and then we have lilith in the ninth house also sagittarius this is someone who is addicted to information obsessive about information doesn't want to listen to anyone else <laughs> kind of a little bit like a know-it-all i've been there i've done that i would know right this could be someone who's self-indulgent uh into knowledge foods uh sexual acts like going around find it have no fixed place so you're all the time depleted from your from your sacral chakra energy right so what you have to do is obtain the knowledge that you know it's true uh, but also learn from other people and this is going to be major right and this is when you become your most charming informing people teaching people uh, with greatest passion but then also empowering other people to teach you and this is going to make a huge shift in your life you're meeting different cultures right you might be very attracted to people from different cultures as well uh, you might be teaching any kind of shocking subjects right when it comes to different cultures or religions or you might be in a shocking uh, religion but this is like a, a the dark side like right to be in a specific cult or something and yeah please don't <laughs> um yeah so this is lilith black moon lilith in sagittarius so then we have capricorn in the 10th house right when we think of the 10th house we think about public uh we think about career so definitely this is someone with a goal <laughs> and climbing up the ladder by their sexual energy right opposite this is someone who completely comp uh, suppresses sexual energy it's like avoiding all of it and just work 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 without accepting that side of themselves so they completely deprive themselves from it so there's two extremes with capricorn right so it's like one climbs the ladder through uh you know the alluring and a little bit of manipulation uh because the, it, it's capricorn is very related to goals they want to reach their goal so if lilith is about sexual empowerment and blah 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 blah, and the dark side is manipulation and obsession they will not stop before they get the job they want <laughs> no matter what cost or so the highest form what you can do is to charge yourself with this energy right your sacral chakra centers your root chakra charge it and work from that part of your body so you become inspirational so people will give you the promotion because you they can't miss you right you're so empowered you're so empowered they can't miss you and they have to give you this promotion so hard work through the lower centers drive passion uh fiery right and you know use it for the highest benefit possible also use it to empower other people in your job and to be the highest form of you know be a little bit of a rebel <laughs> and be this example so this is for capricorn 10th house and talking about rebel let's move on to the 11th house aquarius this is a typical rebel this is like i'm gonna change the world no matter what it takes right so this is kind of the highest form i started with but the lowest form would be i will drive everyone into doing what i want to do to change the world and uh whatever it takes <laughs> or you will go to extremes to be different and you will dress up like shocking ways extremely shocking to get like a shocking response from the crowd but it's not necessarily positive so you want to have it in the highest form you want to be a rebel that's inspiring a rebel that 
brings people to the light and that want to help you. Wow, this powerful being, this raw powerful being is making me drawn in and want to help them. And let's team up together, empower each other and change the world and do something amazing, right? So this is the highest form of the 11th house. It doesn't matter on what skill, right? It doesn't need to be a worldly skill. Uh, improve it can be small it can be just like a, you know small small groups doesn't matter see how that works out for you in your chart and then we go to the last house this is Pisces right it's for 12th house and this is all about the ultimate karma so this is someone like what 12th house is very related to past life it's the karma that you need to resolve uh, you know it's the ending of something so um, Let's say you were someone in a past life that used sexuality to get what you want. <laughs> Use a little bit of spiritual manipulation. This could be definitely someone who was next to the Lilith Sagittarius using uh, sex as a way to, to make people believe in you, right? So this is about um accepting it's there it's usually suppressed and hidden because 12th house is hidden you're unaware of it so this sexual energy you're usually depleting it completely it's not really there but you can find it through spiritual commitment okay it will be coming back like some of you will have kundalini awakenings like kundalini this is how you will feel the this is how you will feel this sexual raw energy and empower you. So this is one of the highest forms of sexual transmission is true Kundalini, right? So many people think orgasm just, you know, <laughs> but orgasm can happen in all your chakras, people, all your chakras. So start meditating today. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, it's you know a little bit of an introduction and I and this will help you integrate into your own sexual energy which is normal it's related especially to the sacral chakra with masculine with males it's more your root chakra but being connection with two and you're gonna have it all together right like a lot of people that go into the spiritual journey are heart center up and they're not grounded you know they deprive themselves of anything sexual and it doesn't matter if if you need someone for that or not it's more about you need to be in complete alignment to become a manifester uh you need to be in complete alignment to 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 actually create opportunities around you okay and this is being fully okay with yourself as a sexual being and you know i wanted to make this video it's a little bit taboo doesn't matter i have pluto on the ascendant i'm here to break all the taboos <laughs> and i love it so uh also i'm doing um a free giveaway for my birthday this year 2021 maybe you're looking at this video later on so write a comment below the videos and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, bless you so much everybody bye bye <laughs>